subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Most of us are familiar with the concept of bioluminescence. We have seen it either in real life or on TV. And bioluminescence is light that is produced biologically by certain living creatures. There are hundreds of species of fungi and bacteria that glow or produce their own light. And thanks to nature documentaries, we're probably also aware that there are many marine creatures that produce light. The first animal that we typically hear of when we're kids in this context is of course fireflies. There are many other insects, especially flying insects, that also do bioluminous. Apart from their use as mating signals when they're flying around, bioluminescence is also a kind of aposematism, which means that it is a visual warning signal to predators. It is a show that indicates to predators that the bright creatures are dangerous or toxic to consume. Even the larvae of bioluminescent insects glow when they're on the ground as a means to ward off predators. But why did flying insects evolve to produce light and when did they do so? This is the question that a new preprint aims to answer. If you thought there are predators in the skies too and that's why these adult fireflies bioluminous, you are probably wrong. In this video, we're going to discuss findings from this preprint paper and when fireflies started to luminous both as larvae and as adults. I'm Sandhya Ramesh and this is Pure Science. We have ample studies to indicate that in various forms of life, bioluminescence has evolved independently almost 100 times. This has occurred both for predator avoidance and for prey attraction. Predator avoidance, especially for creatures on land, is well established. Studies have found that nearly 100% of predators avoid prey when the prey are associated with some form of light or light signals. So we know that on the ground, firefly larvae accomplish predator avoidance by glowing. But what do flying insects do? The most well-known group of flying insects are the fireflies, but there are also four more families of insects that glow. To understand when and why they started to glow, and in fact, to understand why any evolutionary trait evolved anywhere, we have to go back and see the time at which they evolved. Typically, a feature that offers some kind of evolutionary benefit coincides with the rise of predators that are scared away by that trait. On the ground, there are predators like beetles, spiders, rodents and reptiles that eat these larvae. But although animals like bats or nocturnal birds today eat insects and interact with fireflies, scientists have had a hard time establishing the fact that bioluminescence came about in adult fireflies because of predators. So to understand when and why it evolved in the first place, the researchers who worked on this new paper decided to go back to fossil evidence and started looking at beetles that lived nearly 223 million years ago to up to 99 million years ago. The researchers examined if these fossils showed evidence of the presence of a light organ, both in its larval form and adult form. They then also compiled a list of predators that feed on these animals. Their list also included extinct groups of animals that were predators to the larvae and possibly the adult fireflies in the past. Among the firefly predators, Terrestrial groups were things like spiders, some beetles, frogs and toads, lizards and snakes, and rodents. Aerial predators were some birds and bats, especially birds that are active at night. So understanding when these predatory creatures evolved help us also correlate with when the light organs evolved and thus understand if they evolved for the purpose of avoiding these predators. There were also many extinct predator groups that lived when the dinosaurs were around on land, which could have contributed to the rise of light organs in the larval form of these insects because the larvae are on the ground. With this data, the researchers found that in the family of fireflies, terrestrial bioluminescence came first in the larval stage before the origin of adult bioluminescence. The larvae in the fossils showed light organs much before the adults started to show them. 
On the ground, the larval stages started to luminous about 141 million years ago, while the adult bugs started to show evidence of a light organ only about 133 million years ago. However, when this is compared with predator data, the results are a little surprising. If we consider just the dinosaurs as a comparison point, we know that many modern mammals, including flying mammals, evolved after the dinosaurs went extinct. We definitely know that birds themselves evolved from dinosaurs. The dinosaurs went extinct 66 million years ago, and modern birds came about 75 to 70 million years ago. Bats originated just about 65 million years ago, rodents did so about 61 million years ago. But adult bioluminescence in fireflies came 133 million years ago. So modern predators of fireflies originated nearly 60 to 75 million years after aerial bioluminescence. So this means that these animals were definitely not the intended audience for it, even though now it also works on them. But there's also something else that we know. Aerial bioluminescence is used widely as a sexual mating display. How this works biologically is through the light emitting compound called luciferin. It comes from the word lucifer or light bearer in Latin. It is a compound and when this compound reacts with molecular oxygen, some molecules get excited and when they enter the excited state, which is an intermediate state, they emit energy in the form of light as they decay back to a ground state or a stable state. Luciferin is the substance that is found in all of these animals, whether it's fireflies or fish or fungi or bacteria or snails. It is a generic name for the light emitting compound. Typically males glow in fireflies, but in some species even females can glow. And when fireflies glow, they can synchronize spontaneously, especially in large groups. They can do this with a high degree of precision due to gregariousness. Some female fireflies glow a certain way to feed on a different smaller species of fireflies, especially the males of those species. The target males are attracted to the light of the larger female firefly and then they get eaten. These females are called femme fatale firefly females. Firefly signals are used extensively for mating purposes by males, while some females use it purely for predation. But many fireflies don't even glow as adults, and instead they use chemical signals to attract a mate. We already know that adult glowing fireflies also use chemical signals and pheromones for their mating purposes. But the fact that it's primarily males that glow to attract a mate and not typically females indicates that bioluminescence in adult fireflies came about for mating displays and is primarily used as such. Glowworms or the larvae of these fireflies to the contrary, use their bioluminescence as a warning signal to keep away predators. The authors of this paper also come to the same conclusion and state that while in the larval stages, bioluminescence is used for protection, in the adult stage, it is used for sexual selection and has the added benefit of warding off some predators. Fireflies are capable of performing extensive and eye-catching displays that seem almost magical. They're the stuff of fairy tales and can be quite mesmerizing to look at and have in fact led to the brand new phenomenon of firefly tourism itself. But unfortunately, as with most things that humans come in contact with, their populations are now being threatened. Firefly numbers are declining worldwide thanks to habitat loss, light pollution, use of pesticide and of course the warming temperatures. ALAN or artificial light at night is a huge hindrance to the biology of a firefly because to them they use light for displays and to communicate and to select a mate and environmental and ambient light affects their courtship signals. It can in fact even affect how they disperse their larvae on the ground. But since fireflies are so popular, especially among kids, they serve as a flagship species for conservation, much like the tiger and the rhino.